Namaskar. A very warm welcome to all students to today's session on Indian Regional Cuisine. Culinary diversity is one of India's treasures. Each region offers their own culinary distinctive characteristics and numerous traditional dishes. The state of Jammu and Kashmir has its unique diversity ranging from the plains of Jammu to the Vale of Kashmir and going on to the ranges of Himalayas. Today's presentation will give you an insight into the state cuisine along with the knowledge of special dishes, delicacies of state with special emphasis on modern Kashmiri cuisine. Cuisine is primarily rooted in the tradition, climate and also in the availability of base materials and ingredients. Located at the crossroads of subcontinent, Central and Middle Asia, with borders stretching from Russia to Afghanistan, Kashmir has been called as a melting pot of cultures, a crucible of thoughts and influences. Along with merchandise, traders of yore brought along with their living traditions of costumes, lifestyles and above all the cuisine. Kashmir for the reason of history and geography has received these outside influences through caravans and traders visiting for various purposes. The geographic location of the Kashmir Valley preserves a unique landscape known as Karawa. The flood plains of Jhelum River and the multiple lakes constitute the remaining part of the valley. It is generally agreed that the Kashmir Valley originated from draining of a huge lake, the Karwa Lake, which was formed as a result of tectonic upheaval and the subsequent tectonic uplift of Pir Panjal and Janstar Ranges. It lies to the north of Indian states of Himachal Pradesh and Punjab and to the west of Ladakh. The region of JNK is broadly divided into two divisions. One, the Kashmir province and the other, the Jammu province. As we all know that Jammu and Kashmir is more or less known for its valleys along with the Kashmiri cuisine. So there are a number of valleys that Kashmir region has. And all these valleys have their own unique identities. Now coming to the history of Jammu and Kashmir, Jammu and Kashmir has seen rise and fall of several kingdoms. A few Kashmiri rulers like Lalita Aditya and Avarasavarman had their empire extending from Bengal in the east to the Konkan in the south. Kashmir passed into the hands of the Muslim rulers in 1324 AD. The most notable Muslim ruler of Kashmir were Zainul Abidin and Yusuf Shah Chak. Mughal Emperor Akbar conquered Kashmir in 1587, but Aurangzeb's successors were weak rulers and in 1752 Kashmir was seized by the Afghan rulers Ahmad Shah Abdali. In 1819, the Sikh ruler of Punjab, Maharaja Ranjit Singh, evicted the Pathans from Kashmir with the help of the Dogra army of Jammu. The Sikh ruler ruled 
Kashmir till they were defeated by the British and the Dogra alliance. Thereafter, Maharaja Gulab Singh of Jammu paid rupees 75 lakhs to East India Company in 1846 in exchange of Kashmir and some other areas under the treaty later named as the Treaty of Amritsar. The staple diet of Kashmir is a blend of a cultural mix of the Indian, Iranian and Afghani cuisine, which in turn gave rise to the traditional Wazwan style of cooking, which is mostly non-vegetarian and is cooked in a lot of spices. The population of Kashmir mainly consists of Muslims and Kashmiri Pandits. Brahmins who eat meat but surprisingly do not include onion and garlic in their food. Rice is one of the main staples and is consumed in many forms. Non-veg consisting of mutton, chicken, fish, etc. are important part of Kashmiri cuisine. The routine cooking in Kashmir is a combination of non-veg and vegetables in the same dish. The availability of the vegetables depends more or less on the seasons of Kashmir. The vegetables that are available during the summers are the ones which are more or less called as the seasonal greens like the manjhak, vapalhak, etc. and are considered staples. These are the ones which are mainly cooked in mustard oil and water with the addition of the red chilies, maybe the whole or the grounded ones or the green chilies for that extra flavoring. Nadru has an earthy fibrous flavor that is quite unlike any other vegetable. It is cooked in many ways in the region, boiled with the green beans to make a dal, fried as another munj, cooked along with hak, or simply individually as another yakni. These vegetables are the best substitute for the meat for the ones those who are vegetarian or the ones those who want to have a break for the, from the non-vegetarian dishes. The ingredients that are very much common during the winters of Kashmir are the hoxyun, Kangaj and the black beans. Now talking about the hoxyun, hoxyun is a mixture of different types of vegetables which are normally dried during the start of the autumn in Kashmir by the ladies of the house who normally cut the vegetables, make garlands of these vegetables and put them on the terraces or the windows for them to get dried. It are these vegetables thoroughly dried on the onset of the autumn which are used in the harsh winters in combination or individually with meat. Then comes the kangach. As we all know the guchis which are a delicacy are the ones which are soaked in water and then used in combination with different types of ingredients, maybe the vegetarian or the non-vegetarian. The black beans, another one of the main ingredients during the winters for the reason that it is considered to give warmth to the body 
and also has a good amount of nutrition locally called as the wiremut is cooked individually or along with different vegetables like the gogji another name a local name to turnips the various spices are used in the jnk cuisine or to be very precise the kashmir cuisine saffron is very commonly used flavoring agent in this cuisine estufida better known as hing very properly used in the cuisine by the pandits for tempering the food which gets replaced in the muslim cuisine by the items like pran and onions the other spices commonly used include saunt or shont a name for the dried ginger powder and bayadian a name for soft powder kashmir cuisine is quite famous for gracious use of spices like cinnamon cardamom cloves etc spices used in kashmir cuisine give special taste and aroma to the food coxcomb or mawal is used as coloring agent in kashmir cuisine shahi zeera also called as afghani zeera adds a most awesome flavor in different dishes especially the yakhni vur is one of the main ingredients which again is prepared in a patty form by the housewives or the ladies of the house and is different for the kashmiri pandits and different for the kashmiri muslims the kashmiri pandits use the vur having all the dried spices whereas the vur made by the kashmiri muslims are the ones which are having pran and onions also one of the ingredients along with the whole spices which are roasted grounded and made into a paste form and finally dried one of the major ingredients used that has been taken from the persian cuisine is a spice that is zarisk a spice which is mild slightly sweet tangy made of the current berries that are used extensively in dishes which have a persian influence so these are a few of the spices the way they look the picture that you are seeing in this one is the vur which is the dried one and that hole that has been put into the vur is because of to give it a nice drying thing because this is one of the major flavoring agents during the winters which gets added to the food that is boiled and this gets just mashed up and finally put on the dish the kruhunzur or the shahi zeera the zafran the zirish bayadian and the coxcomb that is by the name mawal kashmir cuisine is unique not just in terms of spices in particular the kong vur kruhunzur fennel estufida cardamom marsangan uh, the local name for chilies and leather another local name to the turmeric which gives us a blend of flavors to relish and the lip smacking taste of a dish so in the video following you will find a few of the facts on saffron along with that saffron is one of the major ingredients which is used in the kashmiri dishes especially during the winters like the 
dishes which are in the main course also saffron is used for the drinks more or less talking about the kehwa saffron is considered to be the most expensive spice one of the most expensive spices india is also one of the exporters of saffron but at the same time the 90 to 90% of the world market is captured by the saffron from iran the utensils that are found in the kitchens as well as the open kitchens of the wazawan you will find a good amount of resemblance from the persian culture and the heritage along with this the most prominent are the ones which is the thrain sarposh and the tashtanair coming to the first one that is dan dan is an oblong clay oven the length and the width of this dan depending on the area available in the domestic kitchen Thrym is the large brass plate used for serving food. A thrym could be shared between four people in an event of feast. Sarposh is a copper cover to thrym when food is served to each group on the dastar khan. Tashtanair, a mobile wash basin made of copper. with intricate carving is taken around by attendants so that the guest can wash their hands to enable them to eat with fingers lurj degul deekch among the kashmiri pandits the most vegetarian and the non vegetarian dishes are cooked in these pots made of baked clay the goshpur and the kain these are the flat coarse stone and a wooden mallet made out of walnut which are used for pounding of meat to a fine and a creamy texture kruts these are different kinds of wooden spoons and ladles used for turning the food in clay pots so that the base of the pot does not get scraped kalur is the stone mortar and the wooden pestle used for grinding chutneys and pastes samavar is a jug shaped metallic pitcher used for brewing tea such as the kehwa and sheer chai coming to the kashmiri cuisine history the history can be divided into majorly the one which has the influence on the food of the kashmiri pandits the kashmiri pandits are one of the few brahman communities in india who are non vegetarians besides the bengalis and the goan brahmans the older generation of kashmiri pandits never used onion garlic tomatoes chicken or eggs the classic nen rogan josh is a lighter version of one food found in the wazwan menu here is a list of a few of the non vegetarian dishes in the menus of kashmiri pandits the nan rogan josh is a lighter version of the one found in the wazwan menu the gravy is thinner consistency and it is the essence flavors of the kashmiri red chilies and hing then is the nain mong khatsar nain is the kashmiri name to meat mong means mong and khatsar means khichdi is a delicious as it is visually impressive pandits while retaining the basic character 
of their cuisine also tried their hands on exotica a specific example of this phenomena will be found with the soft ribs which are used boiled and then finally fried by and known by the name tabak mas in the wazwan and kabarga in the pandit cuisine the method of preparation remains exactly the same in both the kashmiri pandit cuisine as well as the muslim but incidentally the name kabarga that is used by the kashmiri pandits is the one which has the original roots and has traveled from kazakhstan where it is known by the same name a few of the vegetarian dishes in kashmiri pandit menu is hak which is common in both the a kashmiri pandit as well as the kashmiri muslim menus the dam aloo or put, are the potatoes which are often poked before being baked in a pool of spices then comes the salmon kalia it is the paneer the cottage cheese cooked in aromatic spices and served with rice the chok wangun is brinjal which is deep fried and put into spicy gravy with sourness of either the tamarind or the lemon a gourmet's delight wazwan is the ultimate name in kashmiri banquet This royal cuisine of Kashmir has been influenced by Iranian, Afghan and Central Asian style of cooking despite which it has been able to create an identity of its own in the state rich and redolent with flavors of cinnamon cardamom cloves and saffron kashmiri food is suitable for all palates predominantly non vegetarian wazwan as it is called is the royal cuisine of kashmir described by author salman rashidi in his book shalimar the clown Wazwan is a banquet of 30 course 36 courses minimum and 60 courses maximum It is a preparation of number of spices being used in various types of meat dishes which are served with traditional rice by the professional chefs called the wazas kashmiri wazwan has its origin in persia and almost always served at kashmiri marriage parties it also has some interesting vegetarian options like the damolu hak palak and salmon among the popular non vegetarian delicacies and curd based items is the one that is goshtaba the chili flavored rista and rogan josh rista is a very famous dish from kashmir served traditionally as a course in wazwan This is prepared by poaching the lamb dumplings in rich red gravy flavored with saffron and finished with the extract of mawal Mawal as said 
is the local name to coxcomb. For preparing the dumplings, the meat is taken only from the leg of the lamb. Traditionally in Kashmir, the animal is slaughtered and the meat is carved out fresh from the carcass and then minced. The lamb fat is mixed with this lamb mix. The red gravy is flavored with different spices such as the red chili powder, fennel powder, cloves, ginger powder, cinnamon, estufida. Another well-known and well-relished dish in the Kashmiri Vazwan is Gashtava. This dish is made with lamb, freshly pounded to a paste form. The boneless cubes of mutton are beaten along with lamb fat with wooden millet on a coarse stone so that the fibers break down, yielding a paste of meat. This meat gives the texture of a sausage on cooking. It is then flavored with black cardamom seeds, big badi lychee, fennel and black pepper, corn, ginger powder, etc. The gravy is made by combining yogurt, ghee, salt and other Kashmiri spices. The gushtavas are poached in gravy until they are spongy and tender. Gushtava is called as the full stuff in the vazwan. Or to explain it, is the final dish announcing the completion of the servings. Another one of the major dish in the Vazwan is the Tabak Maz, as known in the Kashmiri Muslim menus. In the Kashmiri Pandits, it is called as the Kabarga. These are the ribs of lamb simmered in yogurt till tender, then fried to make it crispy and served hot. Rogan Josh is the most commonly named dishes of the Vazwan, made from the tender lamb mixed with the Kashmiri spices, majorly the red chilies or the the coloring can also be given by the mawal. Dhaniwal korma, a rich curd based mutton curry with coriander as one of the finisher along with Kashmiri spices and other khade masale. Aab gosht is the lamb cooked in milk curry. It is boiled to a consistency and simmered, in fact simmered over a long period of time till the time the gosht takes the flavors of milk. So, here you will find a few of the dishes listed which are very much commonly used and served in the Vazwan. Gushtava, as we have explained it earlier also, is the final dish which is served in the Vazwan, thus indicating the end of the various servings of the menu. The Rista, which is cooked in the red gravy and simmered till the time it becomes spongy and gets the flavors of the whole spices mixed in the gravy. Tabak mas, also called as the kabarka, which are the fried lamb ribs. Meth mas, methi, meth means methi 
and maz means the meat is the one which is cooked and simmered both together to give that flavor of methi into the meat the rogan josh having the spices the whole spices and the prominent fl fl flavoring agent is the marsawangun or the red chilies dhanya the dhania or the coriander prominent and the garnishing the final finishing to the meat preparation the gard kofta gard kofta means the gard is the fish so the koftas something like the mats that we have the meat fish is also used in place of the mutton and we have the dish that is by the name gard kofta the dhanyawal korma lamb in yogurt based gravy aap gosht lamb curry cooked in milk the safed kokor or the zafran kokor now safed kokor is the one which is the one cooked in the milk or the curd gravy whereas the zafran kokor will be the one which will be having strings of saffron being added to it thus giving the same safed kokor uh, that lighter yellowish or the golden color then we have the marsawangun korma the sikh kebab which can be made of both the mutton as well as the fish in the wazwan chutney plays a very important role and there are a variety of chutneys that are used like that of the alu bukhara chutney the plum chutney the onion chutney or chutneys made up of pumpkin and so on and so forth another important aspect of the kashmiri cuisine which has been influenced by the traders and the people those who came from the iran afghanistan and other places are the breads only native to kashmir valley these breads of kashmir have an influence of pakistan afghanistan central asia and middle east you will find the chapatis puris or the parathas very rarely being eaten most commonly used are these breads which are known as the chot gird the gyav chot or the gyav gird the chotchwar the telwar the lavasa kulcha burger khaini and shirmal are a few to be listed here the chot girda or simply the roti is a bread prepared by the kandur now who is a kandur kandur is a professional who has a established tandoor in his shop and he is the one who prepares the variety of these breads in his tandoor but these breads have a specific timings something like in the morning you might be finding only the chot or the gyav gird to be on sale while at the during the after the lunch time you might find items like the telwar or the burger khaini or the shirmal or simply the kulcha being sold at these shops these breads are consumed by the local people on daily basis 
simply with the T or they can be one of the accompaniments or the main item which can be used for one of the dishes. And to be on a simpler term, these are the different types of breads found at the Kandur which can be simply relished with jam or butter. The next is the Gyavtsot or the Gyavgird. This is a special kind of a roti which is cooked in tandoor, again of course by the kandoor. It is made in the simple way but the major difference from the tzot is that while making it, the top layer is also of having some amount of fat in it whereas the kneading of the dough also has the fat being incorporated just to give that extra uh, a texture to the bread. Thus, being called as the word Gyav Sot or the Gyav Girt. Gyav means the fat. On the upper portion of the bread, there is a layer of ghee that makes it different from the normal breads. Another bread very much commonly used and eaten is the Lavasa. It is a kind of a bread consumed by people on daily basis. It's a very thin, large, unleavened flat bread. It's like a paper thin blistered naan. Sochur is a des desi donut. It is soft, round in shape. The uh, sesame seeds are the ones which are used as a top layer onto these type of crispy rotis or the breads. Another reason that the Kashmiri cuisine is very prom very much prominent is the different beverages that are used in the Kashmiri cuisine of which one is the noon chai, a drink which is pinkish in color and salted, thus called the noon chai. It's made with a black tea, a specific type of tea leaves being used. A special uh, item which can be incorporated is the sodium bicarbonate. The particular color of the tea is a result of the unique method of preparation and the addition of soda, which makes it unique. The other most unique item in the category of beverages is the kahwa or the kehwa prepared in this kettle, but that is the Samavar. A samavar is having two uh, parts to it. One is a part where you put the charcoal and there is an internal can, uh, container in which you have the water. This water simmers which has the green tea leaves being put into it and it is served piping hot to the people those who desire to drink it. Then there is yet another beverage that is native to the Jammu region which is called as the Sund Kada, a hot dry ginger flavored milk base beverage from Jammu which can help to keep your body warm. To end the most heavy Kashmiri Vazwan, the best of the deserts are required. The deserts that are there in the Kashmiri Vazwan are the ones which are known by the name Lyad or the Kashmiri or the Kesar Firni or Sufta. Lyad is a famous Kashmiri desert prepared by thoroughly frying the whole wheat flour, whereas Sufta is made with lots of dry foods and sugar syrup. This desert is widely preferred during the winters as it provides a good amount of warmth to the body. Also gives that extra amount of proteins as well as other nutrients to brace the harsh winters of Kashmir. Firni is one of the most popular Kashmiri deserts 
and all these deserts are the ones which are common for both the kashmiri pandits as well as the kashmiri muslims now coming to the dogri cuisine dogri cuisine as the name suggests is the cuisine which is native to the region of jammu here you will find a few of the dishes which are native to the jammu region the first one that's the ambal is a bowl full of khatta meetha pumpkin the dogri style served with steamed rice and rajma then you have the khatta meat khatta refers to the distinct sour taste that this meat curry boasts of particularly due to the presence of the amchur or the dry mango powder used in it madha madra mad is a thick yogurt based gravy that is a popular dish to the jammu region oreo potato or the pumpkin are cooked in mustard sauce mani is a sweet and a sour curry that you can enjoy with plain rice along with the various items as discussed in the kashmiri cuisine as well as the jammu cuisine a few of the chutneys and the sauces which are a must for any of the dishes to be relished upon have different from different regions from jammu you will find the sasha or simply a raw mango chutney the kasrod and timru di chutney the pickle is the kasrod the tayo and the seo talking about the chutneys from the kashmir region are the chutneys that are called as the muj chutney the zirish chutney pumpkin chutney doon chutney gant the marsoangan chutney the zirish chutney is a chutney made of small blackberries and tamarind pulp the red chili powder black pepper and salt these all go so well with the hak the gand chitin is the one which is made from onions the pumpkin chitin as the one which is softened pumpkin with curd and honey almond based chutney and sliced radish these accompaniments especially in the kashmiri wazwan play a very important role as they are meant to neutralize the taste of one dish to enable the guest to appreciate and savor another dish the as we said that wazwan or the different dishes of kashmir are very much uh, commonly eaten during the festival seasons or the manner, marriages the different festivals of j and k or jammu and kashmir are urus eid ul azha eid ul fitr vaisakhi tulip festival the gurez festival lodi herat and khatsmar where you will find the festivals like that of urus eid ul azha eid ul fitr the festivals of the muslim community baisakhi is for the sikh and the hindu community of the state the the lodi again for the hindu and the sikh community of the state herat or the shivratri is a major festival for the kashmiri pandits and khats mavas is one of the festivals which is celebrated during the harsh winters of the state especially the kashmir valley the cuisine that is served or the dishes that are served during the urus are the ones which are majorly the vegetarian dishes hence in the wazwan we have a few of the vegetarian dishes also which have been incorporated 
the Eid al Azha and Eid al Fitr are the ones which are celebrated with a big feast among the family members and the bigger family also. Same in the Kashmiri Pandits, the Herat is one of the major festivals and the whole family gathers to celebrate this festival of the marriage of Shiva and Parvati. There is so much more that needs to be said about the Kashmiri cuisine, but due to the restriction of timings, we are summarizing as to what we did in today's session. We talked about the Kashmiri cuisine and broadly categorized it into the Kashmiri Pandit cuisine as well as the Kashmiri Muslims. Vazwan is the name that goes for the modern Kashmiri cuisine and which engulfs into it the vegetarian and the non-vegetarian dishes and more of the weightage is being given to the non-vegetarian dishes. These dishes are served during the family gatherings or the feasts and the marriages whereby the vazas are who are the ones, those who serve the various dishes of the menu to the crowd by the use of thrym and the sarkosh on a area that is having the dastakhan laid onto it and the people relish these cuisines which has a combination of vegetarian and non-vegetarian dishes. We also had a discussion on the special vegetables for the different seasons of the valley. Also, the various specific spices that are making the Kashmiri food the flavorsome as well as a thing which you can remember for a lifetime. Thank you. Here you will find a few of the links as well as the bibliography and the bibliography that the materials have been picked up from. Thank you so much.